Why do we need oysters? Part two, the role of oysters in the ecosystem. Oysters provide many benefits to the ecosystem in Chesapeake Bay. They provide food and habitat for other marine life, reefs can aid in shoreline stabilization, preventing erosion, and they're amazing at filtering algae from the water to keep it clean. Oysters are ecological engineers. This means that they create, modify, and maintain habitat for other creatures that would not exist without their presence. An oyster reef provides a physical structure for habitat and refuge for many other species. Without a reef, these organisms either have no home or become more visible to predators. Young oysters, called spat, need hard material to settle on. Ideally, this would be another oyster shell. But spat can be found on a variety of surfaces, including docks or marine debris, such as a shoe or a beer can. Obviously, an oyster shell from a reef would be an ideal location. Here is a depiction of a healthy oyster reef and some common inhabitants. Hard substrate provided by oyster shells is ideal for organisms that are permanently attached to the surfaces, such as barnacles and spat, seen here. Soft substrate makes for good hiding spots for crabs and fish that occasionally prey on reef inhabitants as well. Take away the reefs, and you take away everything else that lives on them. Here are some pictures from some healthy reefs in the bay. In these pictures, you can see creatures like the blue crab, sea squirts, anemones, and a skillet fish hiding in and among the oyster reefs. Not only are oysters important for making habitat, but they are also important as food. Many charismatic species are known to feed on oysters, such as shorebirds, blue crabs, and fish. Additionally, humans are known to enjoy oysters. Oyster reefs can also function as barriers to erosion. By building this berm composed of old oyster shells, spat can attach and begin to create a living reef that will not only provide habitat and clean water, but it will also prevent tidal energy from damaging the shorelines and removing aquatic vegetation. Here is what an oyster looks like when you crack open its shell. The gills are present in the folds along the side, and this is what it uses to filter particles like algae from the water. Here is an excerpt from the Chesapeake Bay Foundation's documentary, Common Ground, that shows time-lapse photography revealing oyster filtration in action. As you can see, oysters are capable of clearing the water around them, where a single oyster can filter up to 50 gallons a day. A full oyster reef is capable of clearing a lot more than that. Back in the 1800s, when oyster abundance was at its peak, oyster reefs covered an area so extensive that they could filter their equivalent volume of the bay, or 18 trillion gallons, in a matter of days. This map shows the spatial coverage of their capabilities. Nowadays, the population is so reduced that the area of filtration is much less, and it would take over a year to filter the equivalent volume of the bay. Although oysters may be an efficient way to naturally filter the water, we cannot expect that restoring the oysters would result in crystal clear waters. Many other factors come into play, such as siltation and poor water quality in areas of non-restored reefs. Here is a recent underwater video taken by the Painter Oyster Research Lab at the University of Maryland that shows the difference oyster reefs can make today. Here we see an unrestored bottom area that is completely barren. And now here is footage from a restored reef. This illustrates how oysters can make a big difference on the topography of the seafloor by creating habitat and clearing water. To summarize the ecosystem consequences of losing reefs, as you remove oysters due to fishing and disease, you begin to remove the other organisms that live among the reefs. Sand and silt from runoff help to bury the reefs even more and low oxygen conditions result in the bottom with no oysters left to filter and bury the dead sinking algae. Altogether, a healthy reef will provide habitat for those that rely on reefs, help clear the water, provide food for waterfowl and humans, and provide substrate and stabilization for the bottom of the bay.